do you think, I mean, in your heart of hearts, are you noticing that A&R reps, labels are becoming just more and more concerned with social numbers and general online hype and maybe putting less of a focus on actual talent? I hate the answer to this question. Yes, I, I do find that. Um, in fairness, it's a business. So if, if you're in the business to sell water, for example, do you find the best tasting water and bring it to market? Or do you bring to market the water that most people around you are drinking? You know, right. it's more of a business than an art form. And I right. hate this answer, but it's the reality. Um, yes, they're looking at numbers more than ever. Research is more prominent than ever. You know, back in the day, we would put music out based on our gut. Today, we, we do research. There's four different research companies that I use to see who's up and coming. What are they doing? You know, where, where are they strongest? Is Instagram their strongest platform? Is TikTok? But I'm also watching Xavier, and this is such a great question. I'm watching the, the labels sign TikTok influencers, right? So during COVID, they signed 60 or 70. I can't remember how many it is. And this brilliant woman from Water and Music put together a spreadsheet of all these artists and what labels they signed to. And I'm watching this spreadsheet to see, okay, as the pandemic is lessening, what's happening with these artists that got signed? Are they putting out music? Are the labels getting behind them and taking them to the next level? And me as somebody that's not a TikTok person, I only recognize three or four names on that spreadsheet. So the rest are all strangers to me. So I'm really interested to see where do their careers go? Like, is this really what the fans want? Do they really want to see their favorite TikTok artists put out albums or mm -hmm. are the labels all kind of going in the wrong direction and signing popularity and fame and mistaking it for sellability that's not really mm -hmm. a word but you know are they are they mistaking it for what people will spend money on sure i'm happy to watch people on tiktok for free i think it's funny <laughs> would i spend a hundred dollars at a nightclub to do that probably not so i'm anxious to see what happens but yes digital is running it right now numbers really matter <laughs> <laughs>